I know where we're going. So we had a conversation about this the other day. Mm-hmm. We're talking about the T.I. and Tiny situation, right? So I think like... I'm like, going to drink again because God damn. It was like 50 girls, 50 or 30. Was it 30? 32 or checked, 52? Last time I checked, they had like 40. Okay. It's like 40 girls, but let's, let's, let's play fair because... We'll play fair. I'll, what's the... Allegedly, 40-something mm-hmm. girls came out accusing um, T.I. and Tiny of like sex trafficking and... I don't like that word they use. Yeah. It's not sex trafficking. However, I do think there's other things. Like what? Uh, manipulation. All right, so let's say manipulation. Um, sexual. Let's say let's say sexual manipulation. Yeah. Like forty something girls, maybe more yeah. now, came out to accuse Ti Tiny of sex manipulation. Mm-hmm. One thing that I don't like about this, right, okay. is they're coming out via somebody else's page. So we don't know if it's someone that's upset with Ti and Tiny mm-hmm. making up these stories. Mm-hmm. Or if these stories are real. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The other thing I don't like about this is I think for the most part, all these women are grown. Right. Or so, grown and, you know, of age. Okay, we'll of say. age. Let's say right. of age. So it's like if you do something knowing, like you knowing what you're doing at this point, you're grown. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, I don't want to say that line because at the same time, I, I feel like women who have a story. Mm-hmm matter i think they yeah. should matter right and, and they shouldn't be questioned right it's just i don't this story has so many loopholes i don't know it's what to so believe what you but you were saying you was kind of on the other end of the stick you was like nah i believe well, I'm, on, I'm, I'm on a couple si- well it's not that i'm on a couple sides I, I definitely think the story has a lot of loopholes but there's just things that i look at that i just feel like it is what it is like i feel like as far as okay obviously the girl sabrina glam university I do believe she was friends with T.I. and Tiny. And I do believe at a time she was with the shits that they was on. Okay. And I do feel like, feel like whatever they got into, you know, that caused her to be upset with them, led her to basically expose them. What I don't agree with is just because you're not friends with somebody, oh, don't expose it now, baby. You should expose it then. Yeah. That ain't nice. Especially like, you know if what it's saying? wrong, it's wrong. Like, because, like, you know, it's wrong, it's wrong. So you knew it was wrong uh, then. people's... Same. You knew it was wrong then, but now you're mad at them. Right. Now it's wrong, wrong. You feel what I'm saying? Well, because you lost something. Fuck with now that. you want to. However, T.I. to me, I ain't going to lie. I cannot stand to hear T.I. speak. I think he's completely misogynistic. I think he's very controlling. Um, And that's just by listening to his delivery of how he talks about women, of how he translate his uh, situations with how he deals with his daughters, of how he treats his wife. I just don't think. I'm not surprised by what I'm hearing because I feel like those type of men display these actions behind closed doors. That's just what I think. So, babe. Yeah. You've also called me misogynistic before. I do think you uh, have misogynistic ways. Okay. And I won't yeah. say you're wrong for that. Right. Because I don't... Matter of fact, can we pull it up? What, what's, can somebody read the definition of misogynistic? Can can somebody, oh. somebody read the oh, definition. I can, you guys are I can do it. I can do it. Because yeah. I feel like... But I wouldn't... I'm not about to rape nobody. Yeah, yeah. I don't think... So, here's the thing. But women are saying that they no, feel no, like they were being I'm, raped. Okay, so misogynistic, strongly prejudiced against women. Right. I said you have misogynistic ways. I think he's a misogynist. It's a difference. And because, like, sometimes I just feel like, you know, society has delivered these misogynistic thinking on us. That's why, you know, women get the vote last and all these things. We know that. And I think that men, by default, took on some of those traits. However, there's men who I just feel like is this way. You get what I'm saying? T.I. to me has always talked and delivered in that manner. Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he just said that he would never like to see a woman president. Literally just said. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Like, he's very so prejudiced get, against women, if get, you ask me. Getting into this, right? Yeah. So we we had the conversation about like just uh, substance abuse or or just using yeah. substance in the, in the moments of having sex. Right. right. And we were saying, like, I feel like in the court of law, yeah, somebody can't give consent if they're under the influence. Right. And that's, I don't know how I feel about that because. So I ain't gonna lie. I read all 40 of these motherfucking stories. Mm. I am not gonna lie. And these shits were wild. And again, politically correct me. I have to say allegedly because obviously these victims wrote Sabrina and she was translating the message for them. Mm-hmm. Right. 
Some of them would ask to have their face covered. Some of them, she was showing that their picture. So I don't know. However, this is what I will say. Even just hearing him come out and say, basically, whatever, they didn't sexual, they didn't sex traffic anybody, but they said that whatever him and his wife was with, they, they was with. with. So therefore, it lets me to believe that he's, admit he's admitting partial of the fact that he had the engagement. So after reading all four of these stories, this is what I just feel like I will say just about the commonality of the stories. I think, well, truthfully, a lot of the girls knew they were going to have a threesome with Tiny and T.I. Mm -hmm. Tiny being the recruiter, right? What would happen along all of the lines is that once they get there, there's a lot of drugs mm -hmm. and there's a lot of aggression. Mm. And people need to understand something about women. When you are there alone and you don't know the consequence of saying no, I can see why women would just go with it. And that is intimidation. That is bullying. That's what do they call it? Cohesion. Um, that, that is where that's a no, no. And I feel like there's a thin line of, oh, they was with the shits and I pressured them into mm -hmm. something. You get what I'm saying? And I do believe they went there knowing it was something. Mm -hmm. But when they got there and they seen what type of time it was, I'm sure. And you got to understand a lot of these stories. He took their phone. They would ask to leave. They wouldn't let them leave. They wouldn't be able to leave without a fight. And a lot of times they'd get so coke. They would have to. He'd force them to take coke. And at that time, they're so coked up, they're blacked out. They don't even know what's happening. Man, and then you can't, you got to understand, if I'm drug like this, allegedly, allegedly, if I'm drug like this, I can no longer call the cops because the cops can't believe uh, somebody who's under the influence or they don't know what happened. And somebody of T.I. and Tiny's influence is now their word against mine. So I was going to say, you know, like when it says force, right? Right. And I think. This is what I was talking about, just our culture and, mm -hmm. you know, rape culture mm -hmm. and just our culture as growing up and seeing things. And just because, let's say you let's say you do know what's going on, right? right? You come over and I'm like, yo, you should try this. No, I don't want to try that. Come on, don't be, you know what I'm saying? Even though that's not right, we do this in our everyday yeah. lives. For example, we're talking about how on birthdays, right? Even with our friends. And I'm not making excuses for this, but it's saying. like, if this is going to be okay and we're okay with this, why... Why is it such a surprise when when the same thing happened? For example, I'm about to go back go go back into my example. It's on our birthday, right? You got your friend with you, and you want your friend to enjoy that birthday. Your friend said, "Man, I ain't drinking that much today." What you what, do? what 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 the, what does their friends usually say? Come oh, on, nah, it's you your birthday. Put your head you know what I'm saying? Take a shot, take it's a your shot, birthday, right? Shot. Nah, it's your birthday. Bro, but let's say in a bedroom, the same these same vice versa things that I've learned in yeah. my everyday life. You come over, yeah. you're down with Don't it, be right? A party pooper. And now you come over, and now you change your mind. What you think I'm gonna say? Come on, man. And I'm not saying right. that this is right. You hear, I'm not. You know what you was I, coming yeah, for. I, and I, I want to be. I want to be. I'm not saying that this is right. However. If we're going to, I just feel like if we're going to feel these ways, we need to feel these ways and correct this time. behavior. I agree. All around the board. Right. Because it was that the same way. If you come over and you change your mind and I shouldn't try to convince you should be the same way. You don't want to get drunk. I shouldn't try to convince you. I don't know. Um, Whatever the case may be, if you come, if, 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 if you're not in a mood and you change, let's say we all having fun, not even getting mm -hmm. drunk and you just, you kicking, like you mm -hmm. said, somebody be like, don't be a party pooper. Mm -hmm. They could have found out mm -hmm. something. Some could have. They could have really not wanted the party in that moment. But we're trying to convince them. So I feel like these behaviors happen around the board. Again, I'm not saying that if this right. is true that it is right. However, I'm saying where do we draw the line at understanding right. that this is this is kind of human nature, right. honestly. Well, see, I just think not raping somebody, no, not human trafficking. Said. I'm just saying, like trying to if somebody come over and they change right. their mind peer and pressure. say peer pressure right. exactly right. it's just mediocre peer pressure and it's high intense peer pressure right. we'll just say it like that right what i will say is i just think the fine line becomes when you know it's morally incorrect and mm. i feel like at a time when you listen into these stories like first of all you know if you coke up girls you know they're blacked out bro they don't know what they're doing but i think it's no different than you know it's and it's bad to say men do think like men have always done things like even on dates, they like keep drinking because they know if you get drink, you're going to get loose. Mm. You get what I'm saying? It's no different than Coke. They coked up. They're going to get crazy. You get what I'm saying? But you know, after a certain amount of women, that's morally incorrect, bro. You mm. know that. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know better. And I think like the reason why the line is so thin and I and me personally, just seeing how T.I. moves and just watching things. 
I, I believe the girls. I'm just going to say off the rip. I know guys who push the limit but don't cross the limit. Mm, you okay. get what I'm saying? Okay. I feel like he has crossed the limit. You know what I'm saying? 40 women is a lot of motherfucking women. We ain't talking about one, two, three. We have 40. Now, if a couple girls say, like, you know, they come back and they regret what they did, it's like, uh, you kind of knew what you was getting into. But when 40 women come through and some of them are not just coming with the cause. Some of them don't know what was, you know, some of it was happening in a way where they didn't know what was transpiring. And by the time they turn around, it's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And it's just, I just feel like this is what I'm big on. Like even with my daughter right now. Right. And I think like a lot of girls didn't get this treatment, which is why I'm so big on it now. Like I always say like, bro, like I tell my daughter personal space and my boundaries, bro. Like you got to be get comfortable with telling a motherfucker, no, that's my boundary. And that's my personal space. No, period. You know what I'm saying? And I stand behind it so much that I'll get an ass whooping for it. Like even if I'm in the, like my personal space and my boundaries are mine, period. If I say I ain't doing no fucking coke, I ain't doing no fucking coke. And if you want to send me on my way, if you want to beat my ass for it, do that. And we're going to have to see it out later. But what I will say is a lot of women, because I don't think that the issue I think with a lot of women is a lot of women don't know how to say no. Like even I can go into detail when just being a younger girl and a guy will push up and kiss you, you really don't want to kiss him, but they keep pushing up on you. So you kiss him. You know how many times women have sex with niggas when they really didn't want to, but like nigga kept pushing up. It's like, all right, because I don't want to fight the battle of fighting you. And women shouldn't have to feel that way. If men had some self-control, so I don't want to put it just on thin line. Niggas have to have some accountability. Like, bro, if women get good at saying, these are my fucking boundaries. This is my personal space back up. And when niggas learn self-control, like, you know what? My bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's your personal space. That's the only time that it can fix. I don't think it's a, I, without that, niggas going to keep. But I want to With, without self control, they're gonna keep doing the same thing. I want to ask you this though, and I, I kind of want to, I cause I, I can speak on both sides, right? Um, well, I can speak on the men for sure. But one thing that I'm curious to know is like, yeah, men gotta have some accountability as well. Mm -hmm. But how do how do we hold the woman to account? Hold the woman accountable because this, yeah, as a kid, agree. And I'm not saying that I'm not saying that all kids did this or whatever yeah. can it be, but yeah, I can understand you being yeah. a teenager and you you fall into that peer yeah. pressure of somebody kissing you not want to do yeah. it. But as a grown adult, right, right, if somebody's saying no, you know, you but know, we are creatures of habit, and that's why the parents have to do a better job because mm. if you teach your boys self control and when a woman says no, it means fucking no, and I dare you to do it. I as your parent, I'll whoop your ass. You get what I'm saying? But as a female, same thing. Like, learn your personal fucking space and don't let people up in your space. And if you say no is no, I think it really comes down to the parents because I think a lot of this, I, like, these patterns, even of rapists, rapists don't just wake up and be like, they want to rape you. They want to rape you. Rapists had that in them from a yeah. long time ago. They didn't just wake up one day and do that. That that built up aggression, that built up, that's been building up for a long fucking time. You get what I'm saying? So, that's just something that is, you know, and it sucks because a lot of it is coming from just a lot of trauma. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, even R. Kelly's saying, like, you know, he was molested as a child, so this is why he's the way he is. You know, a lot of that comes from that. But, like, just the generation going forward, we have to get good and comfortable with having these conversations with our kids. Like, yo, keep your hands to yourself. Don't be touching no females. You need to learn how to tell a nigga no. Like, don't be fucking scared. I'm not raising you to be scared when a nigga push up on you because you can't say no now you don't have sex with this nigga and you didn't want but, to but as a as I, i'm again yeah. i'm just curious because i feel like there's a lot of things that we can do as men but since we having this conversation I'm, I'm, I'm curious to know when do we look at the woman and say well if you went over there yeah for this intent yeah you should have stopped and turned around thing. We have threesomes, no? Mm -hmm. Right, not to say it like that. Like we that had was wild. one. I didn't mean to say that. We had one, but I'm saying right, we had. We can have a couple okay. more. Like but. relax. But here's what I'm saying, like, right? It's a difference, just, right? We had threesomes. It's a difference, right? Say you were sending me out to recruit the female, mm -hmm. right? It's one thing she know what she coming over here to get to, but if you're forcing coke down her nose and she didn't know she was coming here and it was a whole bunch of drugs over here and you were gonna, that's not something she signed up for, right? You get what I'm saying? But so if, she, if I came. I can come into, like, you got to understand, being a swinger ain't a new thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Which I'm sure there's healthy, way to, healthy ways to do it. Yeah. Right? So, therefore, if people want to do these things, I'm sure it's like, oh, the consent is mutual. 
there's another aspect of it is when I enter in that field and I'm alarmed by the things that's going in there. And then you take my phone and I can't leave. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? It's one thing if somebody come over here and they change their mind. I'm like, okay, no worries. Cause we ain't trying. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. You know what I'm saying? But when people are not okay with somebody changing their mind, that's not no longer the victim's fault. Right. That's their fault. Yeah. And I'm not saying that that's not the case. However, I'm saying for less, I'm saying in the opposite end of, a woman coming over here and she's prepared, right? Right. And I say, yo, you got to do these drugs. Like, you, nah. you just, right. You say, you see how as but easy you, as you can say nah, example, but, but I'm saying as easy as you can say nah, right? Right. I'm thinking, I'm looking at you and I'm saying, when do we hold the woman accountable of not putting that foot down and saying no? But what, see, in this instance, it's just different to me because they're saying no and it's still being forced on. So I'm like, that's what I'm saying. Some of these stories, I don't know if you read all so of them. I'm reading, so I'm then reading that's all of them. Then. It is. Right. So. It is. Again, it is rape. Right. Is so it, you can't hold a woman accountable in rape. Period. Like, that's like telling a girl to wear you jeans. You, Just, yeah. don't, don't wear skirts know, but, because a nigga will yeah. rape you. You can't. Yeah, you can't hold a girl accountable for, 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 well, for rape. But, but what I will say is I'm not saying that women have to use a better judge, a judging. Like, do I want, like, first of all, and that's why I say it's hard because there's women who want to have threesomes and that's fine. I'm so, not judging them. However, it doesn't mean when you get there that I got to do all these but things. Again, you know what I'm saying? Again, so, like, we, that's so, what I'm so saying. I feel like it's just the convers- a difference. I feel like the conversation that we're having is, is so close to co- co- coercion mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, peer pressure, right? So what I'm saying, like I said, for like in our everyday lives, right? If we're, if we're saying, yo, it's your birthday. Right. It's I people who don't drink, up. right? Right. It's people who don't drink like that. I've seen it happen my time. Right. People and don't drink like that. And people are like, just take a shot. But guess Come what? Come on, just take a shot. I feel like, like, I feel like right. that's just as wrong. But because if you come over here, right? And, mm-hmm. and I assume that you know what's going on. And I'm saying, yo, but just because just I know it's a party over here doesn't mean I have to drink. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, but I'm I'm saying the fact, like the act and trying to get somebody to enjoy themselves. That's an everyday Here's act. the thing. I think that's wrong because the way you enjoy yourself is not the way I no, enjoy myself. Not... So, no, here's what I'm saying. So to have, in their aspect, right? To have mm-hmm. a threesome, I don't need no fucking coke. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. I'm not saying, listen, I'm not saying that that's not wrong. I'm saying because that's everyday life, if somebody was to do that in any manner of it, right? Like if we're going to hold people to these standards, we need to hold them to these well, standards here's the thing. all around. I could say that, but that's the d- different was Even if you go to jail and murder, it's different levels of murder. You got capital murder. You got, you know what I'm saying? You got your levels. Like, uh, what is the other one? Um, You got manslaughter. Man you, yeah, you got first you got degree. These you got second That's degree. why I said like, I get what you're saying, but there's different levels of, I'm going to look at peer it as pressure. different level of peer pressure. Because if my friend comes over, and even though I agree, we have to do a better job because we don't want to make people uncomfortable or force them to do things they want to do and they're upset now or now they're sick because they knew they shouldn't have drank that many dr- drinks or whatever, right? If we have a friend and comes over to our gathering and we keep forcing them to drink, I think that is wrong. Right. But I don't think it's just as wrong as that. So I feel like it builds, that builds up to that because I can do that, because I can do that in another setting, I'm going to be able to be like, yo, like we just having fun, have some fun. So here's what I think. I think when it comes to this situation, I think there was women that was with the shits because there is going to be women that are with the shits. And right. I think what happened is there's women who are with the shits. And when you get amount of them, women that are with the shits, even when you get to the ones who are not, you're forcing that on them because people have been with it. And I think that is not okay. Mm. And I think that's the difference of what I'm trying to say. Now, again, just because it worked on them or work with them, it doesn't mean it works with these ladies or it doesn't mean it works on that accord. So you can't just force that in. Use your power to overpower that. That's not okay. So, nah, that's right. So what I'm saying is, so you you saying that you don't think the woman can be held to no accountability I'm in these situations? That. I'm not saying that. So the how do, of, how, 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 do we, how does the woman hold accountability in these situations? So this is what I say. It, it sucks because, you know, I seen somebody say, stop having these after parties. Mm-hmm. Because what will happen is sometimes it is truth in this. But it opens the doors for groupies to be able to be like, oh, yeah, he did it to me. He did it to me. I don't think that's right. You get what I'm saying? So what I will say is, you know. To go back to your question, because I was going to go in two Mm -hmm. lanes, right? How women can hold themselves accountable. This is hard because I don't want to take away 
the victim aspect of it because i feel like but we can't as say, a victim so as the only thing i could say is don't go but if you're with the threesome i feel like that's not nobody right like, that's but even okay. if you go but even if you go but, you can't so you tell me there's no accountability and getting there and if somebody say yo try these or you should try these but not to no it's like not, nah i don't thing. want to if that was just the story i would understand that but because the stories are saying bro i said no and i wanted to leave next thing i know my head the nigga is telling her to snort the coat out of his hand and they grab her head and snort the coat so she blacks out. And like, I can't, that, that there's no way for me to say if somebody says, let me leave and no, and they don't let her leave. I cannot hold her accountable because she tried. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Now in a normal setting, yes. Like baby, say no. Like mm -hmm. to, hold, to hold women accountable, you have to say no. When it's something you do not like, do not use the likeness of somebody else to be like, you know, I, I, I fuck with them or they're a celebrity and, you know, I want to be in the room. So, you know, what I mean, no, I'm not doing that. Like, you you have to say no. If it's something you're uncomfortable with, do not go against that for the likeness of anybody. However, in a situation where girls are saying no. Right. No, I'm not. So I'm not talking but about I have to, but that's in those what moments. Talking I'm talking about, about in the moments when, oh, okay, when you so have the to, choice to say no. To separate and you don't the say moment no. from the situation with T.I. and Tiny, where I'm just being very clear to separate that moment because I'm not going against the victims that said what they said, but to go into another side. Yes. You have to learn to say no when you are uncomfortable. Right. Period. And I ask you that because I feel like I can't speak on a woman for like, I just curious, like, but I feel like gotta be some type of accountability in there. But for the men, you know, I but think just to be my bad, I mean, no, to but just to be honest, Jay, like, like you said, right. When we were talking about Chad Wheeler, he was like, you know what you could do with a, to a woman. Mm -hmm. Women know what men can do to a woman. You get what I'm saying? So a lot of times I just think that people just do have to understand. And this, I, 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 I'm holding women accountable, but men's aggression is overpowering sometimes. Okay. And I don't want to take that away from them. You know what I'm saying? Like there's been times like I'm a strong female, but in certain situations, it's hard. Like, no, you know what I'm saying? Because men are so aggressive sometimes. It's their way to highway. And then you're scared of what they will do to you if you say no. You know, because we do know what you will do. You right. know what I'm saying? Because it's so hard for us to see the softness of a man that we don't even sometimes consider it because they're so hard all the time. So you're continuously living on that edge. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's hard. It's hard for women. No, nah, and, I, and I, I definitely understand because I feel like as a man, we have to be able to teach our younger. We got to be able to reverse this rape culture because we can't sit up here and act like this doesn't exist. Like, because rape culture is real. I feel like when we was growing up, even the songs that I, used to, like, I was listening to the other day, like, um, I think I was listening to Get Low by uh, Lil John and the Eastop Boys, right? Like, but the lyrics are so ex it's been explicit, like that. right? Right. Yeah. And it's like we degrade our woman since children. So uh, even songs where I wish I could fuck every girl in the world, right? Like even like to them that might be entertainment, but as children we're coming up thinking like, oh, this is cool, right? This is what I want to do. This Honey. can happen. So in these moments, I feel like we gotta be able to like teach our kids that this isn't the right way. I'm but gonna tell you what I think, right? Although I want to believe that we could reverse rape culture. But it's no difference of what I feel about rape. It's going to a, a, a race. Excuse me. Rape and race. L look at that. Same word. Same R's and category. But what I will say is I think the issue is going back in history, white men been raping our women, right? Mm -hmm. And I think the problem that we need to realize is some black people, they're not thinking like we want racism, racism to end. Like for all, like, I don't want this to happen to you. I don't want this to happen to us. A lot of them want the power of privilege that the white men had. Yeah, they and they can't take it out on white people. So you know who's the next in line? Black, Black women. women. Right. And I think that's a big part of the issue. Like, it's not just, oh, take care. It's This is what subconsciously has been ingrained. And because the reparations isn't coming in hand, they're taking it in whatever power they get. And unfortunately, black women has been at the disposable of men forever. And they can't take it out on white men. They can't do that because unfortunately, that's how it's been ingrained. But guess who they can't take it out on? Black, black women. women. And no matter, before it was Bill Cosby, then it was R. Kelly. Now it's T.I. After T.I., it's going to be somebody else because that is just the cycle. And it's unfortunate. But that's just where we are as a society. And it's sick. So It's sick. And what I'm saying, I can't speak for the woman. So I'm trying, I'm going to try to speak for the men. Like in those situations that you feel like that, you know, again, this is comes with the upbringing and like, it's not just rape culture. It's just the thinking of a man 
the misogynistic thinking of a man towards his woman, right? I feel like all these are come from entertainment. All these come from what we see. And I think as grown no, men. it didn't come from entertainment. It came from white people when they were slaving us. And then it went to entertainment. Okay, well, I'm just telling you, I, I'm 29. I didn't what? see whites. I didn't okay, see that. So enough, what I'm saying is enough. from in my generation, all I see, this is, came from what I've seen. Yeah. Right? And I think, you know, as grown-ups, we had to do a better job at raising our children to understand that this isn't right. Because the more that we see this, the more that we think is okay. So, yeah, I, I might cross the line. You know why I'm going to call Cap on you? Why? Just an hour ago, Julian's playing Lowe's. Mm -hmm. You said, you know what? I like this Queens and King shit, but I get tired of that. I want to hear that chitty chitty bang bang killer nigga fuck a bitch. That's also the issue. Right. Because even if it's entertainment that started you, if entertainment changes over, you don't even want to hear it. Okay. Bae, all I'm trying, like, I keep trying to make a point and you keep like cutting me off to see what My you're bad. saying. It's like Go your ahead. third time saying it's like I okay, said I couldn't sure speak for the that after. I'm ahead, saying I couldn't it. speak for the woman. So I'm trying okay. to speak for the man. That's why I okay. gave you the opportunity to speak for the woman. How can y'all take accountability? It. So I'm saying how we can take accountability. Mm -hmm. But when you, you keep going and you telling me how you think we should keep take accountability. I didn't say that. I just was saying you said first the you said why the, it's hard is because of stuff like that. Right. You said uh, entertainment, you wasn't around for slavery, but you right. was around for entertainment. Right. But your right? first point but, was the slavery part, then is this part. So I'm saying, like, I'm trying to tell you how go I think men should take accountability. I'm not taking away from you. I was just having a dialogue, but you can go ahead. All right, so again, so my what I think how I think men can take accountability is being able to teach their boys or teach their young men coming up the opposite of what we learned. And I think a lot of, the, again, what, what I learned in my generation, it came from entertainment. It came from what I've seen on TV. And if we can be able to teach the opposite, we won't think this. So to your point, when I, when I hear... Uh, let's say Los, shout out to Los, you know what I'm saying, Baltimore. But if I hear Los and I'm like, yo, yeah, I don't want to hear this right now, right? Like I want to hear some chitty chitty bang bang, whatever, mm -hmm. right? Because I'm like, I feel like it's a, it's a cool balance. Again, that comes from what I'm used to. I'm used to hearing this. That's my preference because of my options growing up. If we can be able to instill something else in our children, then they will think differently. The only way I think, the only reason I think I want to fuck every girl in the world is because when I didn't know better, that's what I heard. And that's what I thought was cool. But now that I'm a grown man, I know differently. And I can tell my son that, nah, and I can, and I can, and, 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 and even deeper, you know what I can do? I can explain to my son that this is entertainment. This isn't real life. I wasn't, I didn't have nobody to show me that this is entertainment versus real life because all I saw coming up as a young man. And I feel like a lot of men do this as no excuse because now we're grown. Right. But I feel like a, a lot of us seen, the get lows, right? You, bro, you scared, you scared, that, that thing to the floor. You know what I'm saying? When, when I see, uh, I wish I can fuck every girl in the world. All this is my reality because this is what I see on TV. This is who I want to become. And if we are able to tell our children, our young boys specifically that, yo, this is entertainment, talking like this is wrong. And even down to the fact of like, I might be being scared right now, but even down to the fact of not letting them listen to that. Just being honest because... That's just not reality. And if you do react or you act in these ways that's what you hear in your songs, you're going to get arrested. This isn't real life. Just like if you hear music talking about selling drugs and you go out to try to sell drugs and you get caught, you're going to get arrested. This music isn't real life. I feel like we got to do a, a job as, as, as that. And then again, when we get grown, we got to understand like holding our friends accountable. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm in a fret and I'm, there's a lot of things that I'm going to just be real like that. I probably wouldn't be, um, proud of of looking at my past the parties that we had the things that i said but if i was if 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 my friends would have tell me that that wasn't cool then maybe that would have did a better job for me you get what i'm saying because i was doing it because that was the cool thing to do we got to be able to change this this idea of what's cool we got to be able to change this idea of what a real nigga is right we got to be able to change it into a way of like protect your woman right don't be scared if you see somebody if you see a man treating a woman wrong check that nigga because that's not right. Don't be scared. That's just what I think as men is hold myself accountable. And even like, like I said, y'all like, yeah, you might can go out and party and be like, hey, friend, come on, you going to drink? But understand when you're in the presence of a woman, it's different. You got to understand your, your, your power that you have. Like if, if, I, if I have, if, if I do have a little bit of stardom, if I am a social influencer, whatever the case may be, I have to understand as a man and not even just an influence. I have to understand as a man, the presence that I, that I stand in the presence of a woman. Because how she can feel, she might feel intimidated. So I can't be as aggressive. 
that's what I think men got to do when it comes to accountability. Yeah, I, and I agree. I agree. Um, when I was talking to the entertainment, that's just another you know topic only because unfortunately, you know, a lot of little boys don't got their fathers to tell them the difference. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, but you know, just talking to the ones who do, you know, you have to do your part no matter what. Mm. So, you know, and that's why I was putting it more so on entertainment because, you know, that's just what's out there. But right. that was out there when we were younger, too. So, you know, what I'm saying it doesn't change the fact that we still grew up and decided to look at a different route. Um, and again, just as far as women, you know, like I said, like, you know, I think just people have to really get good with telling their daughters their personal space, like something big. What I do with my daughter is like even when she's invading my space, I make sure I use words like you're invading my space. Mm. You are in my boundaries. You're in my personal space because I that. need her to be able to say that to somebody else. Like right. you're in my personal space. You're like nobody has to be up all on you. Like nobody has to be in your space. Nobody has to touch you. Nobody has to be using your things when they you don't want them to use when you don't want them to use them. But however, I feel like if we're not like I seen something like kids don't listen to words they listen mm. to actions Damn. like you know what i'm saying which is why i do it in that way because i need her to get good with being like yo you're in my space don't touch me you know what i'm saying and sometimes it might come off harsh to her and but i'm trying to show her like if i say it to her then she can say it to anybody Damn, because yeah, she knows she's right. my kid and i'm not I love her, so I'm not saying it to be mean, but I need you to understand, even when I love you, don't cross my boundaries. Damn. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think once people understand that it's really us, when we live and walk by something, that's really what they're going to live and walk by, you know, because a lot of people, like not even a lot of people, I, as a young girl, I didn't know that. Nobody showed me, don't let no people in your personal space, you know what I'm saying? Even if I you love them. Even if you love them. Because I you know think that was a big part of yeah, it. Yeah, even if you love them, don't you feel be in my because you, yeah, you care for somebody. Because like, you care for somebody, yeah. now they got to be. No, even if I love you, stay out my fucking space if mm -hmm. I don't want to be touched. Right. That's how they get to own their body. That's how they get to own their space and own everything around them. And, you know, I even encourage that for guys to teach their daughters mm -hmm. because it's like one of those things like you got to tell you that, like, yo, even I'm daddy, but if you don't want me to be, you don't want me to kiss you today, I won't. Even mm, if it's, on, you know, on your facts. cheek. Like if you don't, if, if, a, a if, if a kid pushes you off and they don't feel, my bad, I'm sorry, baby. Yep. You need to tell them because they need to know, like if another man that's not daddy comes to me and just kiss me, if I say no, I said no. And I tell my daddy no. Right. And my daddy respects when I and, say, so you're not my daddy and you don't respect think, when I'm saying bro, no. But, even, but my daddy respects when I'm saying even, no. So even in who that, the fuck but, you think you are? even in that example, right? Real I shit. feel like. That's why I think we, like you said, we got to do a better job of teaching our yeah. kids what's better because I can see, I can see in moments where you might try to give your, your son or your daughter a yeah, kiss little, and they'd be like, yeah. they be like, come here, give me a so kiss. I see it, oh, and that's not okay. Not we got to okay, change you know that what? because you know, now they, now it's repetition. That, that, right. that's, that's, they, they learn that that's like, okay. You, you, kids go over their family member. Oh, let uncle Johnny give you a hug. Let, like, I might not be comfortable with uncle fucking Johnny. No, right. I don't want to hug him. He's weird. Right. So. Let them not want to hug them. She right. don't want to hug. And I think and that stick up for them. She don't want to hug it begins, today. It, Sorry, it, it, that becomes like you know what like I mean? that's how you that's yeah. your learning pattern, right? That's, that's your that's exactly. your that's your, your subconscious now. Exactly. So, so it's like, man, because I care exactly. for them, or because they care for me, uh, I'm gonna let them give me a hug. Right. Or, or I'm a, I'm a, I'm because that's uncle. I'm a that's uncle or auntie. Yeah, I now, have to. Now let that them hug, hug me. goes from a kiss. Now right. that kiss goes from sex. Right. Right. So it's no. like that's, I think that's a great point, man. I think you gotta be good at that. Do a better job, but it's teaching our kids and just as young men. Yeah. I just, yo, you gotta understand that no means no, and I get it, bro. Like, yo, trust me, like, trying to convincing a girl to say yes isn't cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get how it can look, like, yeah, bro. Like, I'm, nah, you're not. Trust me. Trust me. And I just feel like we gotta keep telling our and, young men this and, and just I, showing different. Right. And I think a lot of problem is to, you know, like, men don't talk to, uh, other little boys yeah. about their built up tension yep. that they don't know where it's coming and from. And how to release it. And how to release it. You know what I'm saying? So without knowing, they're just doing and not knowing. Like, you know, you may not have to do it this way. You might, bro, like real shit, you may have to tell your son how to <laughs> go get off by his goddamn yeah, self. I don't know. Nah, it's crazy. I'm not saying it nah. to be wrong. I'm nah, just saying you might got to tell right. them like, bro, you don't need no girl to do nothing because for you. You feel what I'm saying? Like real shit. For a man that doesn't know like even I told you like yeah. even like coming up I feel like you know I was so used to being a man I thought that like me getting off having sex or whatever it can be but if I had a mentor in my in my life or with somebody to tell you like because I feel like 
men don't talk about responsible sex in those right ways. we talk about sex a lot with, right. with each other right we talk about like yeah that's my that's my dog yeah. my little son gonna get all the girls just even the way we speak about right. it right my son gonna get all the women when he grew up he's gonna be a soul snatcher etc etc et et i'm like that's not cool yeah you know what i'm saying so it's like if you don't have somebody teaching you bro when you are horny <laughs> okay what do you do you can go get off yourself or you can focus on other ways so you don't be as right. horny, right? right? There's other ways to get off. Right. But when you you're not running, when you you're not, go, right. it's when you're so not taught shit. that, you think you equate it with like, I the only, only got to go get off is, is I got to get, get a girl. And if a girl say, no, I got to get off one way or another. So bitch, mm. you just going to have to be mad. Right. And that's nah, not that's okay. A good point. Yeah. So I think, you know, I just feel like we, we all got some growing and, yeah. and, and learning to do when For it comes sure. to that situation. Hopefully it is allegedly, hopefully this shit not, not true. You saying T.I. said it wasn't true. And I would hope, and I would hate, I mean, Like babe. I said, I mean, look, I don't wish nothing on nobody, but what I will say is I also, I don't wish nothing bad on nobody, but I do hope everybody has the day they, de they deserve. Mm, that's and fact. that's what I'm going to say.